i want you to believe from the depth of your heart that something will come upon your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the grace that puts you practically in dominion beginning from today may that grace rest upon you now i prophesy upon your life even by the power of the holy spirit the power that is derived from the word the power that is derived from the ministry of the holy spirit let it begin to speak practically in your life from today practically in your life from today practically in your life from today hear me in the name of jesus from today as you declare it so you see i say it again as you declare it so you see it the centurion said for i am a man under authority having soldiers here and there i say to one go and he goeth to one come and he cometh from today whatever you say go to it must go and whatever you call to come it must come and hear me for many of you who have been calling things and they have refused to come i join my faith with you and i call it to your life now and everything you have you have told to go and it has refused to go by the power that raised christ from the dead we drive it permanently from you from today whoever you bless is blessed whatever you bless is blessed whatever you touch is blessed i pray for every business here no more going down every home here no more backwardness every spiritual life here upward and forward only in the name of jesus christ from today no enchantment and divination against your life will survive and hear me if there be anything that has authorized satan over and against your life in the name of jesus we bring him and his cohorts under your feet thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday i prophesy to you anybody that says over your dead body the ground will open and swallow them anywhere your name is taken it shall not stand in the name of jesus hear me the power to create your possibilities and the power to manifest those possibilities receive it right now the power to correct anomalies and the power to command restoration receive it now in the name of jesus and by the privilege of priesthood i empower you this night go and correct every wrong thing in your life go and correct every wrong thing financially maritally spiritually intellectually in your health in the name of jesus christ hear me from tonight anything you see that is inconsistent with what is written even if it's what you saw or what you heard or what you dreamt or what was told you i empower you to change it with the written word hear me anyone here who is a victim of i heard prophecy anyone who is a victim of i saw visions anyone who is a victim of they told me altered perceptions i change it now by the power of it is written anyone who has seen you dying i speak to you you will live anyone who has seen you poor i speak to you you must prosper anyone who has said your territory will be hostile to you i prophesy over you for you there is a lifting up favor rests upon you the dominion power of the spirit rests upon you in the name of jesus
I pray for you precious people of God the spirit of revelation that gives you knowledge and understanding drawing light out of scripture and experiences receive that grace now no more study of the Bible without revelation high level spiritual illumination hear me by this dominion power anywhere you are supposed to be called in this season for good news and for your rising I don't care how long it has been I declare they must identify you and lift you hear me I'm speaking to the body of Christ but particularly those who are connected to this grace from today the grace for influence the grace for dominion the grace to be exalted above nations and territories I release that grace of help them I release that grace upon you now you will be distinguished in such a spectacular way I want you to believe what I'm telling you nations will honor you governments will honor you not just individuals they will look for you regardless your background they will look for you regardless your limitations in the name of jesus christ may god put it in the heart of great men to look for you may god put it in the heart of helpers to help you you hear me I know that our nation is being plagued with a lot of things let me speak for one minute we owe a duty as priests to speak over this nation and over Abuja I stand by the apostolic we close the spiritual borders of FCT over terrorists I decree and declare that the spiritual borders of the FCT is hereby closed against any activity of terrorism in the name of Jesus Christ and as it is close over this city is close over your home too no devil of darkness will kidnap you and your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and anybody that vows to become your enemy quarter to execution may this dominion covenant fight them Let me pray over your finances please believe it among the many indices that measure dominion second or third only to your spiritual health is your financial level i am one person who believes that the blessing of the lord upon a heart that loves jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed let me repeat the blessing of the Lord activated upon a heart that loves Jesus and a mind that is transformed is a blessing indeed resources only become a disadvantage and a disaster if they rest in the heart of one who has a heart that does not love Jesus and a mind that is not superior in thinking and because I'm sure of what God has done in your life I speak over you some of you this week in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you financially may my God open strange doors connect you to systems and structures in the name of Jesus Christ and every limitation that has come with lack I decree and declare whether corporately or institutionally be delivered from it now in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one two three take that grace now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe Lord
nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified till the nations bring them out see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your, power, your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas kobarakosiata, egra kapas kalika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Ah. Be released. Exalted. 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 about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors right now I stretch my hands let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count 
of prayer. Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus. Lift your voice and say, Father, shout it again. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that everything you have for me. I receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. Seka parakatos kalebrenda kebereketos. those following from across the globe pray in the spirit that which god has in store for you receive by faith the bible says now there remained a rest for the people of god there remained a rest for the people of God. There remained a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously. Someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska branda kebarekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. 
a quick work in my finances a quick work over my job over my family over my marriage over my children over my health go ahead and pray do a quick work by the spirit of the living god someone is praying Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21, verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me i'd like you to open your mouth and pray lord i step into a season of laughter in the name of jesus laughter means the war has come to an end laughter means the struggle has come to an end laughter means victory is established you do not laugh during the time of war you do not laugh during the time of travail no woman laughs while giving birth it is after the child comes that laughter follows someone pray oh god make me to laugh release my laughter in this season laughter meaning rest laughter meaning victory established laughter meaning testimonies made manifest is someone praying all that here will laugh with me all that see tonight will rejoice with me all that see my healing all that see my prophetic word all that see god locate me will laugh with me go ahead and pray Shake Parakatos Kiatabat. Sabranda Gaberekos, Shalakos Kaberekos, Sane Samalekos, Shabrakateba Lakosiata. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything. Anything. Water turning to wine is only a sample. It is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent. It says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen, visible, now, current, are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father, father. one more time say father, father. everything yes. in my life yes. that is not your will yes. let it change tonight yes. open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned
unto victory. Shalega barakas kapraka tosiata, ekra katefras kaparakosiata barakusiates. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court. When you go to the appeal court, you go with greater evidences and say, in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration, you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out. Are we together now? Even when God, the judge, sent a prophet to a man called Hezekiah, he said, pack up your load. He said, God Almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man, put your house together, you will not recover. Hezekiah said, I respect you prophet, you leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we're still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah 
and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuage verse 2 it says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. While it was rising, God remembered for the sake of Noah, I have to stop this flood now. You are going to pray. There are certain evils that have prevailed. But now that you have come, you are going to say, Lord, remember that I am your son. Remember that I am your daughter. The Bible says, which of you, whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish? and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and God remembered Noah and God remembered Noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you I have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazaro sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them but the spirit of god has an assignment to bring to remembrance that includes your destiny helper he can bring to remembrance that you said in january this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power what has stopped you from acting say father shout it say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord amen there was a very interesting story in the bible is the story of the fig tree the bible says that it was not even yet time for figs and jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree green very inviting and he went there hoping to get figs and the bible says not finding figs he cursed it and said no man eat of you again and by the next day when they came there the bible says they saw that it had withered you're going to pray it is dangerous to not bear fruit 
John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you? The world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry. You bear fruit in business. You bear, there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again. They are saved. But there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit. You are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible, listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful, especially fruits like garden egg. And then you give it a bite only to find worms inside. Has that happened to you? That you see a beauty, it doesn't look bad, doesn't look, um, you know, decayed, looking very inviting. And then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within. Immediately, what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin. You are going to pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in my life, in whatever manner, I curse it tonight by the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry, fruitfulness in destiny, fruitfulness in career. I curse it by the Spirit of the living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalikapas kebrande kebereketos yata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. 
bring stability to my life accelerate my life accelerate my life hela kosa kreska barakatos ya tabarandas accelerate my life accelerate my life accelerate my life koinonia you are praying accelerate my life by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah huh. final prayer matthew 6 7 But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven now verse 11 shout it with all your heart give us this day one more time give us this day if god said this day may your lack of faith not make it this month may your lack of faith not make it next year listen he said give us this day our there is something called daily bread daily bread bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour it means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day God is that meticulous he's that you already said you he you called him father that means for every day of your life the moment you are waking up the angels are positioned they have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there but I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house you may not receive it we are going to pray this prayer give it to us again verse 11 give me this day my daily bread lord by faith and with every sense of gratitude i cry give my family this day give my ministry this day open your mouth and pray you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer lord give me this day send me help from zion this day all that it takes for my efficiency Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. But let me speak over a closed door. Over someone's life. I'm doing this by the Spirit. Tonight is not a miracle service. But I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I decree and declare. Hear me. In the name of Jesus who is the Christ of God. That any door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare over it a father be open a father be open a father be open be open be open doors 
doors of ministry be open doors of power be open Please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Inside, outside. Those following online. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Edify your spirit man. This is koinonia. The spirit pray in the spirit shake up aratos building up yourselves on your most holy faith building capacity in the spirit majesty Shananda Salabara of your majesty. In the presence of your majesty. Majesty. those in front here before you go back to your seats i decree and declare that everything that represents captivity in your life comes to end now and that this grace you have contacted will speak again and again in your life in the name of jesus who shall ascend to the hill of the lord and who shall stand in his holy place who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity the bible says nor sworn deceitfully that he shall receive a blessing from the lord and then here is the ultimate test whoever is lord in this earth must be able to go out of this earth and come back at will that was the one test no other deity passed because you see according to the law of territory once you come out of this domain someone inside must be the one to call you back you can't bring yourself inside so all other gods exited this earth but those gates did not open for them to come back and here is this one who came out by himself and when he was about to return the gate said there was a proclamation lift up your heads all ye gates and be lifted all ye ancient doors listen carefully why he says that the king of glory may come in hold on and the gates ask a question many have come trying to enter back but who is this king of glory and he says the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle and the gates open and he stepped into
into this realm and said all hail all power authority exousia has been given to me in heaven and in earth go go with that party go with that consciousness that your defender is the lord in the name of jesus who is the lifter of men i decree and declare in no time your world will look at you with shock and wonder may the lifter of men lift you may the lifter of men lift you you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life has changed you will never be the same you will never be the same you've touched his grace hallelujah in one minute let your expectations rise to heaven please go ahead jesus is here jesus is lord all over the nations follow with hunger in your heart please lift your hands and pray everyone everyone lift your voice you are lifters. Salabakata Brandega de Baladabada. This is me, oh Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Joshua Selman as he has said. And the Lord did unto Joshua Selman as he has spoken. The Bible says Sarah conceived. You don't have to be a woman to conceive this kind of conception. There are visions. There are things you can carry. Your mind is a womb too. And bear Abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the Lord God has spoken. Father, as you have spoken, do to me. As you have spoken, do to me tonight. Shake a paratus and a galebala catasia. Shala Shala Baracota Balaba. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing people laughing in the spirit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The power of God is going to come on those people. This is very strange. But I want you to carry them and bring them out. Like an outburst of holy laughter. There is a prophecy for them. Bring them out. This is a ministry of signs and wonders. There is nothing superstitious here. It is the mighty act of God in the midst of his people. Bring them. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Please bring them. An outburst of laughter is not something you can control. Hmm. God of heaven. These people are not, this is not just a, a, some carnal manifestation. God is establishing great victories in their lives. Hallelujah. 
Victoria. I'm hearing the name Victoria. Who is Victoria? I presume there may be many people with that name. But I want to speak to you now. Hold on, please. Don't, don't rumple yourself there. Where are you coming from? Huh? Mama? Where are you coming from? I'm here in Abuja, but I come from Kaduna. From Kaduna? Yes. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. Help them, please. Please don't come out carelessly. Don't come out carelessly. If you don't have any business coming out, please, there's order in the house of God. In as much as these are manifestations, don't worry. God is going to visit you. We are not wasting our time. I'm hearing the name Olu Shegun. Olu Shegun. This is a Yoruba name. Olu Shegun. You are wearing a short dress, a short-handed dress. Is there someone like that? Olu Shegun. Who is that? What's your name? Olusheru. From where? From Oki State. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I manage the town of my friend for us. I want to pray. You heard what I was teaching yes, about lifting. Yes. This is what is going to happen to you. <laughs> my friend, believe God. Oh, God is a lifter of men. Hallelujah. Mama. Please lay your hand on i hope you're not embarrassed can i talk to you i want to rebuke bp high blood pressure high blood pressure i want to rebuke it in the name of jesus christ now something is about to happen here now please look at me everybody pay attention let me explain before it happens you see the apostolic and the prophetic call if and when administered within the boundary of scripture and with spiritual intelligence outside of superstition and rubbish and nonsense when it is administered within the boundary of scripture can work wonders and you have to be flexible when you are in an apostolic and a prophetic atmosphere in as much as scripture remains the basis of all that we do the dynamics of its operation the bible says there are diversities of gifts are we together now there are diversities even of operation now i confess to you the world is watching and i want to say something before i pray there are certain gifts and manifestations that god has put upon my life that I was almost tempted to shelve them for a while until I studied through scripture or in the life of day that have gone ahead of us so that we would not bring error in the body but I search 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 and I did not really find anyone I know operating this dimension of what what is about to happen and because of that I went to scripture and then I found out that there were things that were hidden that were not known in time past but that in these days god had revealed them who is apostles and prophets the lord would open my eyes and show me the map of a nation or the map of a city and i would see light would point a particular region and the moment i announce it all the people from that region the power of god begins to touch them this is a sign and a wonder when it started in my life i said what is the meaning of this are we together now and i'm saying that because this is what i'm seeing i'm now seeing that vision right now of a map and the light of god is touching kogi state this is what i'm seeing listen help them please you see what i'm saying kogi state kogi state bring them out kalatuski debra katushiata kebrandos kalibra katushiata kogi state God is bringing deliverance. There are foundations, there are altars that have tied the destinies of men down. In the name of Jesus, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic. For this day, doesn't matter what local government, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we arrest everything. Please don't come out on your own. 
Kalisa breka tushi atakara sutiyaji. Karuzen teshka barika tuski ata. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. These things are manifestations of the Spirit. It is to profit the believers. Hear me. Except God is not God. Everything that followed you here this night to tie your destiny, I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help them, please. It must let you go now. It must let you go now. Covenant. It must let you go now. Yokes of ancestry. It must let you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there is someone here in politics. The power of God is coming on you. I'm not, I'm not a politician. I don't play politics. I'm a man of God. But I love politicians. I love great people. I don't run away from them. We are sent to minister to them. But there is a politician right now. I'm talking, the power of God is coming on the person. Just hold the person I want to prophesy. If that is a woman, just hold her. I want to speak to her. Because I'm seeing her climb a ladder. There is a strange political door that is about to open up for her. Listen, this is the house of God. It's impossible to come here and return back. Minister Dunsin already told us here. I am that I am. Just keep her there. You don't have to lift her. Just keep her there. Madam, we respect you. We do not insult your pedigree in any way. It's just to speak over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come, I use her as a point of contact. I don't know why God is speaking to those who are politicians. If you are in politics here and you are being grounded by any reason, I stand in the name of Jesus. You see, every state rises based on the king priest prophet formation. The king priest prophet formation. I declare in the name of Jesus, everyone here politically may my god lift you to the next level may my god lift you to the next level by the power that raised jesus from the dead ene ojo ene ojo is there a name like that ojo what's your name Huh? Give please, is the mic working? What's your name? From where? Kogi State, State. Stand here. I want to pray for you. You believe in Jesus? Where are you coming from? In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Every door that has been closed over your family, I'm speaking to you now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that door be opened now. Madam, what do you do? Hold on, please. Is this mic working? Please, media, help us. I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yes, sir. I hope you're not embarrassed. No, sir. <laughs> Don't cry, madam. God did not bring you here to embarrass you. I'm speaking to you in the open, in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I, I don't know whether, in the name of Jesus Christ, rise to a new level in your political career. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen to me. Kingmakers never become kings. But they enthrone kings. And they remove kings. It's a grace. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord honor you. All of you who are standing here. My dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. You. That's the name that is above every other name. I pray for all of you who are here. Everything holding you down, right now, I speak in Jesus' name. Let it let you go now. It must let you go by the power that raised Christ from the dead. 
the lord wants to set a family free i'm seeing that the men in that family keep dying this is what i'm seeing this is a pattern all the men something continues to happen to them remember that happened to the widow at nain her husband died her only son died madam can i pray for you in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i'm seeing chains around your chest and your hand in jesus name help her please look at this out of her now please come i hope you're not embarrassed sir where are you coming from sir i want to pray for you i'm seeing you try to climb a ladder and the ladder is breaking and bringing you down and the lord is saying to prophesy to you so that you will rise this is what i'm seeing you believe that in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i decree and declare the power that lifts by the god of heaven may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon you and you will rise in a way that will surprise you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray the bible says even the lawful captives hold on do you know what it means to be a lawful captive to be a lawful captive means there is a legitimate ground upon the which the devil is taking advantage of you but he says even the lawful captive at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus inside here following online at the overflow when we shout this name we let the nations know that he's the doer of these things now the moment we shout that name listen to me there are chains and there are yokes that have tied people down some of you as you are standing you are representing families at this shout the fire from heaven will fall upon you please i want you to bring them out bring your various overflow father there are men and women who have been under yokes of bondage all kinds bondages of delay bondages of retrogression the ill speakings of people and the bible declares for this purpose was the son of god made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil one therefore lord as we lift up this shout the healer the same way the walls of jericho fell let everything that does not name the name of christ give way are you ready now at the count of three one two three shout jesus I command every power. I command every force. Bring them out. Every yoke of ancestry holding God's people down in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. My God. Oh, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office above every other office above thrones above dominions i declare every power holding you down bring them out that power is dislodged now was you pray please bring them out halakato sadekatepa shadekete berekoto skoto brandegedia shagapakatos some of you are representing families god is asking me to pray the power of god is going to come upon you but it's not just for yourself it's for your entire family lord every family represented here makatos keba that is under any kind of yoke i declare by the spirit of god in the name of jesus christ that yoke is broken now broken now broken now broken now Every time good things are about to manifest, you keep walking, but just when it's about to happen, you may go back and have dreams and encounters and wake up and you will have bought precious things. Shabakatakata, embrekete basikata. Anyone here that experiences failure just at the edge of breakthrough, may fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now. May fire fall upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Who is like him? Lion and the lamb seated on the throne. 
mountains bow down every ocean rolls to the lord of lords we will praise adonai from the rising of the sun to praise hallelujah elijah i'm hearing a name elijah elijah we're going to pray for the sick shortly please stretch your hands towards me i just saw something in the spirit if you can just stretch your hands towards me i saw a vision and i'm seeing what looks like a bag being given to people and the lord is telling me this is i'm seeing written on it good news i'm seeing the number 71 just stretch your hands towards me father hold on please from my left to my right everyone who must receive this inside outside right now i stretch my hands may that anointing come upon you help them please in the name of jesus sounds of good news sounds of good things sounds of good help them some of you news that you have been waiting for for many years by the power of the holy ghost suddenly what do you do you are elijah what do you do pastor. you're a pastor where you have your own church yes. can i pray for you please. you are elijah hold on please don't mr man i'm seeing fire coming on you now take that grace in the name of jesus you will never be the same again in the name of jesus christ pastor can i pray for you listen we are co-laborers and god granted us grace to help one another are we together now i stretch my hands towards you by the power that raised christ from the dead in the name of jesus may the lord anoint you may your ministry step into profound dimensions of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ my god please look up i'm seeing a very interesting vision the lord just opened my eyes and i saw a grave and i saw it open and i saw things not people things that are there coming out i'm declaring to someone this is not just restoration this is resurrection there are some of you they've concluded things about you about your family about businesses i call upon my god everything that has been buried over your destiny that you will not rise conclusions made over your family i call upon my god who is your god talita kumi that which is dead come back to life talita kumi that which is dead come back to life help them please every family dying businesses dying families come back to life by the power of the holy ghost sign up i pray for all of you in the name of jesus christ may the power that raised christ from the dead rest upon you my dear this lady shout jesus as loud as you can my friend what do you do sales boy you are a sales boy yes where equal boy i'm selling gas sir. you are selling gas gas, gas. Uh, refining of gas will you believe what i will tell you yes sir. go and register a company okay. huh? okay. god is taking you into oil and gas stand up my friend we are not entertainers so we fear god even if it is three months in the name of jesus barrenness dies now barrenness dies now barrenness dies now in the name of jesus christ 
madam i pray for you according to the time of life in the name that is above all names go and tell your husband that the lord has brought visitation for you in the name of jesus christ help her please praise the lord i want to pray for you zaina in the name of jesus christ may the lord bring a visitation for your family a supernatural visitation everyone trusting god for a job i just saw something now please believe hmm. you are trusting god for a job wherever your job is in the name of jesus christ may god take you there right now I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead some of you by this time next week I stand by the God of my covenant and I declare by this time next week may God surprise you you will come and stand here and you will testify of the marvelous hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we are going to pray for the sick shortly I'm hearing a name pious who is pious pious you are pious you are a worker here you're a new security here it's still the same thing all this ministry doesn't whether you're a worker you know most times people have a cliche in churches that workers don't receive anything only other people get, no this once jesus shows up including me who is speaking everybody you will swim in that river and you receive are we together i want to pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. No. The pious I'm seeing is wearing white like me. Like this. This is what you are wearing. <laughs> you are surprised. <laughs> this is the place of encounters this is the place of surrender sir don't worry i'll still pray for you ah you are if we love our workers you are faithful how could i'm just trying to say that this is what's not the word you understand but it means that listen whether god gives you a prophetic word in your ears or not the prophecy of scripture is valid you can use the prophecy of scripture and prophesy to yourself and it will happen the same way a prophet spoke to you no matter how accurate what we say is we still see in part the word of god scripture must be exalted above every gift and every prophetic word this becomes your comfort that even though we may not have the time to mention everybody's name and even if there is time we do not have the bible says though i speak with tongues of men and angels though i understand all visions and all of that we're limited but it's for you to believe sir i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir abuja here yeah. can i pray for you god is lifting people this is what i'm seeing god is lifting people god is showing me someone you work in civil defense it's time for your lifting this is this is civil defense civil defense now madam you work in civil defense i will pray for you but is there anybody on the balcony that works in civil defense this is what i'm seeing this is a lady or not a man is there someone like that balcony go oh, find out find out first where where were you sitting come come and stand This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Hallelujah.
my dear in the name of jesus christ i don't care what is the issue that is on the table according to the word of the lord if god could locate you i declare and i also pray for you also civil defense madam i want to pray for you where are you from i want to pray for you in the name of jesus christ you will come and stand both of you you will stand here before the people of god and you will testify of strange liftings in the name of jesus receive that grace now by the power of the holy spirit sir i pray for you in the name of jesus christ help her please daddy i don't know why you are standing outside here but i want to pray for you we are going to pray for the sick i'm going to pray for you is it husband and wife madam i need to pray because i hope you are not embarrassed sir. can i talk to you ah, we have to pray i believe in miracles god is taking sickness sickness i'm looking at you and i'm seeing many things i'm seeing a thermometer go up and down up and down up and down this is bp two people will start running in the overflow outside outside now we may not have time to bring them out outside i'm seeing the power of god outside the overflow outside just bring them to the front of the projector screen i want to pray for them because the lord is taking away the yoke of delay over those families this is what the lord is showing me sir may my god bless you in the name of jesus and for you sir may my god please stand up you're a worker what do you want god to do for you look at a wise man you heard what he said he said i want to know him more is it no relationship that brought this privilege now don't you think relationship has other privileges too the greatest prayer request is relationship you can have a man's hand but when you have his heart you have access to everything are we together and i truly pray that god will help you to know him more Amen. the holy ghost that was given to us to help us know the lord but in addition to that the fringe benefits of that relationship that is speaking your life in the name of jesus christ i bless you in the name of jesus christ every human agent in partnership with dark powers over your husband madam or over your wife sir or over your children or over your parents i bow my knees to the god of my covenant and i declare in the name of jesus that thing is destroyed now destroyed now destroyed now help them destroyed now Please stand up let me tell you this you see one of the ways that god helps you to dispense the anointing is he plants compassion in you over the lives of people this is somebody's father and grandfather now he's saying that look doctors are a miracle they are instruments of god's mercy without them will not even live to even learn the ways of god but look what is happening to this man now we're about to pray for the sick shortly i'm sure there's a reason why the lord left him here that he came together with our mother here and now they are, i don't know what kind of surgery they are going to do now but that he will never be able to speak again sir come again so that is either life or death don't worry madam you are in the right place you are a man of god here please listen to me you see the reason why we must keep contending for the anointing it's not enough to say i'm apostle joshua selman i am this our alignment there are destinies tied to our obedience 
there are destiny tied to our prayer our fasting our diligence the miracle that happens to this man and this family can bring many to Jesus so no matter what level you are in ministry please let this thing plant a genuine hunger all these celebrity things that destroy us push it one side and settle with God carry genuine fire ever increasing fire yesterday's oil may not solve today's challenges you will need fresh fire for the season and if you are not ready to stay with God don't ask God to give you members what will you be doing with them it's evil to ask people to come and gather people everywhere and then waste their time share the grace and go back please don't be offended I'm not I'm just sharing with you a passion I'm looking at this man's situation daddy we're going to pray for you and I believe Jesus that he would do a miracle for you I don't know what it is that he has put and then God will heal you of BP because I saw a thermometer going up and coming down can we pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus please no stand up sir it's important you see I know that we live in very challenging times and the devil has complicated matters by bringing all kinds of sicknesses on people we had the miracle service in Zaria um, day before yesterday and I was touched and broken when a woman came who had showed me they, they were doing dialysis for her it's a family that is not well very well to do and then in the midst of it now I'm not a doctor but medical people will tell you here I don't know how much it costs to do dialysis but it's a very serious thing hallelujah but Jesus still heals are we together now lay your hands very quickly everyone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest he touched me the master touched me and oh what joy my soul. Something happened, and now I know There will be a loud shout of a gentleman and a lady. The moment that shout happens the healing power of jesus will begin to move a gentleman and a lady now we're ready to pray please i'd like you to believe with a loud amen as i pray in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my god the healing anointing is flowing here in the name of jesus christ every devil behind infirmities you don't have to bring them out right now miracles are happening i command those devils to give way now give way now give way now now in the name of jesus christ from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in jesus name be healed in Jesus name migraine headaches be healed in Jesus name ulcers be healed in Jesus name all kinds of growths and lumps around the body I command them to disappear now bone conditions be healed now those on crutches those on wheelchairs in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed now and you try to stand up 
you're on a cross lift the cross and start walking in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ deaf ears partial deafness complete deafness be healed now